Winnipeg Jets win a spy score of 5-1 to one against the Ottawa Senators in a landslide win where the team finally looked like the way I think the Winnipeg Jets can be able to play properly um, for most of the time this season, in my opinion. I think that the Jets really looked good in this game in a lot of different areas. They were really, really good in their own end of the ice um, in the second and third period. But before we get into all the positives, I want to talk about something that I still think is a problem, and that is the first period and the way the Jets started the first period, which has been a constant problem, not just in the first period, but throughout the game in times with the way they played. And it really showed in that first period. They weren't making any really, they didn't have any success at all, really breaking in to the offensive zone. That's why they were outshot by so many. Um, I believe it was 18 to 6 in the shots in the first period, and overall, was, they were outshot by a lot. And the Winnipeg Jets did today in that in regards to the ice, and that first did not look good. They were sloppy getting into the offensive zone. They were sloppy just bringing the puck into the neutral zone for most of the time. I just did not think that they played a very good brand of hockey today in that first period. The defense looked pretty shaky, and they were lucky that Connor Hellebuck was the way Connor Hellebuck was tonight and stood on his head because he won them that game in a lot of different areas of the ice, especially considering the fact that he was just really stopping every shot they had because they were shooting a lot of pucks. And in my opinion, he should have got that shutout, but that goal against um, was just a bad luck goal. You know, good pos uh, good positioning and for the rebound by the Ottawa player, and there's nothing much you can do in that situation. He was kind of just left untouched, and this just happens in hockey. Same to that goal that happened in the Calgary game, and it was just an overall, you know, not the best goal, but you know, nonetheless, Hellebuck is the reason we won that game, especially off of the fact and off the off of his play in the first period, especially. But other than that, I do think that the offense looked a lot better going into that first period. The offense looked good when they were all set up. It was just moving the puck into the new into the offensive zone. That's why when they had the chances to score, like at the end of the game, Stastny. And Appleton were really playing good in the end of that first period, I should say, and they had a really good opportunity there, a couple good opportunities, and that was because they finally got the puck through the neutral zone and actually set up for a decent play. When that happened in the first period, they were able to get good shots, but it just didn't happen consistently, and it was way too much in favor for the other team, and they were just not moving the puck well through the neutral zone. But going into the second and the third, when in my live stream, I said, I doubt this continues for the Jets. They just I don't see it, and it really, really showed in the second and third. The Jets started Paul Stastny kicking it off like 10 seconds into the first with that great goal and that's just when I knew that it was going to be a landslide for the Jets after that and it was bang 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 all game long just goals being scored great play great puck possession great zone entry by the Jets moving into that second and third period that third period was dominant that second power play they had at the end of the second period was fantastic they looked so so good on that the puck movement was the best I've seen on the power play all season in this game they were just so good in that area of the ice they played that zone very well when they had the power play which is something that again I was a little worried about because in the first period, I didn't like Josh Morrissey on that first power play. I thought, or not the first play, the second period. I didn't think Josh Morrissey looked that good. And that's been something I've been constantly saying is that I don't think Josh Morrissey should be on that power play spot on that number one thing. And that kind of shows because Neil Pionk had a fantastic game. Neil Pionk with that wraparound goal for the fifth goal of the game was fantastic. That was a great read and a great play by him to come in and do that. And it kind of just makes me want to see Neil Pionk for the next game on that power, first power play just to see what happens. Um, Paul Maurice doesn't ever really juggle his lines around and that's a big, big problem in my opinion because the Jets have a good team but overall they need to have a better power play because they just don't have a good power play right now um, it's something that, you know, other than the fact that they had a good power play this game, doesn't just mean that they've had a good power play all season, in my opinion. They've lacked in a lot of different areas in the power play, and Morrissey's been one of those reasons why. He just hasn't been a good fit on that first power play, so I would like to see that shuffled. Other than that, they did look good this in this game. Again, it was against Ottawa's penalty kill, so take that with a grain of salt, if you will. Nonetheless, I'm hoping that that chat fixes it going into the next game against Ottawa. I would like to see a cons more consistent power play. That's my big, kind of, only consistent complaint I had with the Jets, although they look great on that power play they had where they scored I would like to see a little bit of a shuffle to that with Morrissey because I feel like he kind of is a weak end on that blue line he kind of loses the puck too much he does too much sometimes with it and although he you know he's not really taking that many shots either he's more of just kind of like the cycle guy when it comes to him because he needs to redistribute the puck if there'll be too much pressure by whoever has it but I think Neil Pionk could bring more offense to that other than that I think that the Jets played a pretty good game it was a weird game too because of the lineups the Jets weren't running with uh, full 12 guys um, um, going into this game, they were only running with... Um uh, they were not running with a fourth line center. They had Nathan Beaulieu coming in because Tucker Pullman had to be conditioned because of COVID and whatnot. They didn't want to rush him into a full length game, which I make sense. But at the same time, taking out a Gustafson who has been playing pretty decent hockey in my opinion and keeping in Nathan Beaulieu uh, is a bonehead decision. It worked for this game because they won, but I would prefer not to see that going into the next game. I don't think it will, but we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens with Paul Maurice and the conditioning that Paul Mar uh, Paul uh, Paul Postma, excuse me, that Tucker Pullman is going through right now after coming back from battling COVID. 
good. So that's going to be interesting to see nonetheless. But other than that, I think that the Jets have a pretty good lineup moving forward into the next game against Ottawa. I think that if Gustafson comes back and plays well, it'll look good. There were so much line combinations today. And other than Trevor Lewis and Matthew Perot, almost everyone played equal minutes. It was very close, separated by about three, I think, between almost everyone. And that's something that the Jets don't really have happen very often on their team is when they have a consistent... Um, threat with um, equal minutes, and I think that that could be really beneficial for the Jets moving forward, um, not just per se even equal lines, but having each player play with different guys, shuffling it up as it moves, that could be really dynamic for the Jets moving forward, and I liked what I saw from Paul Maurice's line shuffling this game, Pierre-Luc Dubois looked pretty good in this game as well, his second game with the Jets, he had a couple great opportunities, he was uh, getting involved really well in the play, he was taking good hits, he was making good passes, he took that tripping call, but again, it was just a bad, you know, call, like a bad situation to be in, nothing you can really blame the guy for, he played good brand of hockey, he almost had a goal there on the Mellow goal. If that doesn't get tipped on the top by, I believe, Nick Paul, I think that he could have had a chance to tip that in. So he did play good. He had a pretty good game, and I think he's only going to be getting better and better as the time goes on for the Jets moving forward in this season. But other than that, I don't really have a couple other standouts to talk about. Mark Scheifele get a two point game, which is great. Um, we love to see Mark Scheifele get more points. He did look better, in my opinion. I just want to see him more of a presence in the face off dot. But he's been, getting, he's been getting more consistent the last few games, which is good because he just did not look like himself to start the season. And that was a big worry for me going into this, uh, going into the, the, these games, these future games coming in as the season develops because I wanted to see more from Mark Shifley and he's getting better offensively and he's more consistent offensively now. Defensively, he's a bit more of a presence as well. I've noticed him in the last couple games but other than that, I just haven't noticed that much of a great play from him in the center dot and I'd like to see more of our centers winning face-offs. That goes for um, Pierre-Luc Dubois as well and I would think that Pierre-Luc Dubois, Stastny, um, Mark Shifley and Adam Lowry would be a good center core to have for uh, face-offs. They just didn't look that good today in the face-off center uh, at times. They were able to win some important draws, but I would just rather see a more consistent face-off presence for Shifley. Um, but other than that, he had a good game, and he's been getting better and better in the last few games, in my opinion. Wheeler looked pretty good today, too, as well. Um, he looked very, he made some good passes. Kyle Connor and Shifley and him were just making some great passes on the power play, and they looked very good. They looked very poised, which is something that Wheeler at times hasn't looked like, um, but he could look very poised and well-conditioned for today's game, so that was something I was happy to see. But other than that, I thought that the Jets played a good brand of hockey. They looked good. One of their better games they played this season, in my opinion, and other than that, I think that it's just going to be one of those interesting situations where I think the Jets will be good against Ottawa, but a lot of teams are, so I'm hoping that this will continue and translate into the game against Monday against the uh, Edmonton Oilers, who's been playing a very good brand of hockey recently. So that's going to be the, uh, the test to see if the Jets can consistently play well against Ottawa in this game, which they did, and against the game in Saturday, and then hopefully being able to take that good play of hockey and translate it to their game against a more tougher opponent in the Edmonton Oilers. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below on this thought in the game, an individual player performance as always. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below. I'd love to read you guys' comments on the games. It's very interesting for me to see all these different takes from different fans from across the country and it's very interesting and i'm really grateful you guys take the time to share your opinions so thank you for that if you enjoyed this video regardless of the team you root for definitely consider dropping a subscription and turning on notifications if you haven't already it really does help the channel out as we're on that road to 1k subscribers thank you guys so much for all the support and all the recent content it does mean the world to me peace love and positivity as always i will see you guys in the next video go jets go